What's up guys, it's Roger and welcome back to the channel. And today we are covering how to use Blinken Trials on Endless Fail. Now this has been a pretty fun weekend so far, of course it's only been one day as of the time I'm creating this video, but I got a fun little loadout I've been using here. And I do want to say I've done a how to use Blinken Trials on the Endless Fail map before, but it was a little while ago, I think before Avoid 3.0 came out, so I'm using a different strategy this time and I'll link that one on the end screen if I remember, so you can go and check that one out and see my other strategy that I have. But for today, I'm going to start off with the weapons here. We have the Peace of Mind Pulse Rifle and the Likely Suspect. Now on the Peace of Mind here, I have Enhanced Perpetual Motion and enhance elemental capacitor. Guys, the stability is crazy on this thing. I mean, you get extra stability handling and reload speed when you're just moving for a little bit. And then you get extra stability because of course we're on void with our blink from the elemental capacitor. And when it's enhanced, you get even more stability. Look at the stable on this thing, 76. It is in Sane. Of course, I got that trials memento on there. I'm so close, level 29, almost level 30. Then I get that nice ass shader. I'm real excited for that. And slaying out with this thing today. Very good roll. Definitely craft yourself one of these bad boys. And we actually have another crafted weapon as our little partner here today. Now, I've been getting into fusion rifles more lately, so I wanted to try one in trials. And I've had some success with this, although I am still learning how to use my blink as optimally as possible with my fusion rifles. But I'm getting there and I'm having fun. Now, on here, we have firmly planted and successful warm up. I would definitely recommend having these as an enhanced traits, enhanced perks as well if you can, but I didn't have the neutral element for it right now to craft those, so oops. But as soon as I can grind out a little bit of this element stuff, then I'm going to go and do that for sure. Let's come over to the armor really quick. So I have pulse rifle targeting on, and I want to show you that I have psionic forging too. This is going to increase the duration of the land take origin trait. Land take origin trait is going to be on our peace of mind here, and that's going to give us some extra damage resistance and whatnot after we get a kill. So you can really enable yourself to take some extra shots from your enemies once you get that first kill and kind of pop off kill two or maybe even the entire enemy squad. So you want to extend the duration of that as long as you can, and psionic forging is the way to do that. Taking charge, of course, so we can get charge with light. I have quick charge here so we can pull that fusion rifle out even faster. And if we get some double kills, we get charged with light, which I did do a few times, although mostly it was ending rounds, so it didn't matter too much, but still nice to have. And then an unflinching pulse and an unflinching fusion rifle, just so we can hit those shots a little more. And you can look down here at these other mods and whatnot. This one on my boots, I have 105 stats on my boots because I just put all this stuff on here just to get stats. And then, uh, you know, my bond, just the regular stuff. Oh, I do want to show you guys. Make sure you can see my bond right here. It's like rainbow colors. It's because I have this photo finish shader on. Make sure you guys are going right now into the store. Obviously, it's going to be outdated if you watch this later, but right now, get this shader right here because you slap it on and it does some stuff to your armor. And it's really cool. So the only thing I really have that it affects right now is this bond, but it affects some really cool stuff. So, hey, go ahead, get that. You can put on some guns and stuff too, and it does some awesome stuff. So coming into here, I want to say it's freelance weekend, but it's also cat point weekend at the same time, which we all know means bubble titans. Now, they haven't been as crazy, in my opinion. But maybe that's because matches are ending a little faster that people aren't usually getting supers but when they do of course it's nice to have nova bomb on so keep that in mind and you want to have vortex on it's better than cataclysm but cataclysm is just fine an option and it's fun as well so if you do want to put that on by all means go ahead healing rift blink of course and pocket singularity of course and then i have scatter nades on i've been loving scatter nades lately i was thinking of doing vortex and that's actually what i used in my other strategy that i was talking about in my other how to use blink in trials video that i have for this map but scatter nades is what i went with this time i don't have a shotgun on anymore since i'm on the fusion rifles so this is kind of a nice way to get even a longer range sort of mock shotgun if you would prefer to see it that way and that's how i prefer to see it and when you learn how to hit your scatter nades really well you can get a lot of one-shot kills with them. So definitely try those out. After that, we have Feed the Void and Clarence, Child of the Old Gods. You all know he's named Clarence by now for me. Now, since we have those on, we can use four fragments. I have Dilation here, of course. As always, I keep telling you guys, put your Dilation on. You want that fine-tuned radar. And plus 10 mobility and intellect is always great. We love raw stats. After that, I have Echo of Persistence. That's just going to let our Devour go from 10 seconds to 15 seconds. Again, you yeah, can't go wrong there and increase devour and it's also going to give us longer overshield and invisibility so we like that too next is just going to be some stuff for the grenade honestly melee final blows grant grenade energy we like that because we want to get scatter nades as much as possible just for that burst damage and then the last one here is just going to be expulsion so whenever we get a void ability final blow targets are going to explode and 10 more intellect right there we don't need this much intellect but hey it's nice to have right and then when you can kill somebody with a scatter nade or your melee they are going to explode so nothing wrong there if you do want to instead of expulsion want to go for this right here i go of undermining so your void grenades can weaken that can be really good because the first tick of the scatter nade will weaken the enemy and then the subsequent ticks will do more damage so if you'd like to do that uh, that is completely fine to sub that out but this is the build that i'm running 
and I had a good time with it. I'm mostly sitting back with the pulse rifle, but you'll see we do get some times where we can go in with the fusion rifle and have some fun. But all that being said, let's go ahead and hop into some of the gameplay. Starting off, I just want to show you a couple of my common starts that I do. Most of the time, about 70% of the time, I go to mid like this. I actually have a vortex nade on in this clip, but I switched off to the scatter nades a little bit after this. You see I was just taking shots at this guy, summon Clarence, saw this guy in the air with a three peak, he's able to knock him out of the sky. We have about eight seconds of our land tank duration going on here, which is good, and it still stays on even when you switch off your gun. I was looking for this guy because I saw the ticks of damage off of Clarence, but he got away a little bit. I was able to hit him pretty good and map him, but just not enough to range there, but teammate was able to pick him up, get that kill for us. Coming into the next clip, if I didn't have things up, I had my no grenade and I had no rift. So I like to come to the side. Remember, you do sneak faster when you have dilation procced, and we're off the radar right now because we're crouched, and then I blink forward before the enemy has time to react to his radar and take him out. He was aiming down sides most likely with that bow anyways. Take him out. We have good duration in our land tank there. We're looking for the next guy, and we come over here, get a nice little bit of damage with the fusion rifle and take this guy out. And those are some of my common stars. Sometimes the flag will spawn over here inside of Shrine, and when that happens I like to slap down a rift and just get Clarence out there and do as much damage as I can. I did so much damage to these two, and luckily with Clarence going off and weakening them, my teammates were able to easily help and clean that round up. There was only two guys in this round because one of them rage quit, so I threw a nice scatter nade here because they had been going to mid every single round and fucking destroyed them both, so that was a nice start there. I was blinking across the lane here, got a sniper shot to go whiz past me, and was looking around on my radar, I saw them both to my left, so I went in with the fusion rifle here was able to absolutely smack this guy, do a blink, hit my head on this surface above me, which put me on the ground really fast, and let me take the second guy out extremely quickly. Now, I was peeking down lane here with my pulse rifle, taking some shots at this guy. I had all my abilities up, but I saw this guy on my radar behind me. I blinked over, so I get a nice angle on him and took him out. He was a shotgun ape, so I was always watching my back just in case he was coming. Threw a scatter nade out there, did a little bit of damage, threw the melee, shot him into the wall, and then picked him up with the fusion rifle kill really easy. Coming into this clip here, we're in a 2v3, but we did have cat point at our feet. Unfortunately, my teammate goes down, but I was able to trade him out. Now I have land tank, so I knew I could take some extra damage, so I faced off with this guy, Clarence is doing good weakening and damage to that guy, and I wanted to go for the res, so I got down there and started going for it after doing damage to him, threw a scatter nade for some extra blow up potential on him, and absolutely wrecked that guy. Waiting for this last guy, I only had 15 bullets in the mag, but I knew if he dropped down I could hit him with easily with the fusion rifle, so that's exactly what I did, and got all three of them killed all by myself. Blinking into this next clip, I saw this guy down mid and I was just peeking down there waiting for my moment, saw on my radar somebody was maybe gonna peek up, and he absolutely did, took him out and was looking for the last one saw on radar so I threw out my scatter nade but he was taken out by the teammate so the last one was over here and knew I could range him with the fusion rifle and was able to do that after using both bursts. Now as always I have to emphasize to you the ability to use your radar because that's what gets me the ability to make this play. I see this guy over here and I'm looking there's one to the left as well on my radar so I decide to peek the right guy smack him have land tank brought and I'm waiting for the guy on the left because I knew he was there for my radar smack them both and secure that round for the boys. Now coming back here again I see this guy put a rift down and I'm waiting I have the own rift here, so I put mine down. I want to get Clarence out, but I also do a shit ton of damage, and I'm actually able to smack him with the teammates. I kill this Clarence, and then decide I can go in with a nice fusion rifle play, so I blink in and map one guy. I'm making sure I'm crouching so that I have my firmly planted proc'd, and the success of a warm up off the first kill, and it's just absolute beauty. Coming down to mid here, I three peek with the rift, and know I can peek this guy with a nice scatter nade, so I throw that in there, kill this guy, have land tank proc'd, and this is why we love Clarence. Our boy chases really well sometimes, and he actually got us that last kill there. And secured us around. Now this guy, I couldn't quite hit him, but you gotta understand how good the peace of mind is, and that's what I'm showing in this clip. I absolutely smacked this guy, and since I knew I had his kill there, I knew I could use a good scatter nade by baiting his res. So that's what I did. I throw the scatter nade, one shot this guy, and flick to his teammate and take him out and kill all three myself that round. When I played on this side of the map, I tried to be careful and usually stay back around this brick, but sometimes, like this round, I enjoyed peeking over to the left. People don't always see it coming, and this is a great place to peek. I saw this guy a little bit and knew he was probably going to walk out, and that's what he did. Smacked him, got land take Brock, but I saw Clarence was taking damage, and I knew that the guy would be a little weak, so I followed up and just waited, saw him jumping around, was able to get a nice two-piece and secure that round. Coming into this next round, though, I was over here in Temple. I wanted to get closer, but I couldn't, so I threw a scatter nade so that I had myself time to put down a rift. Started peeking on this guy, took him out, and saw the other guy really quickly. I was able to take him out, and teammates took the third one out, but that was a nice round. Coming into mid here, I saw this guy, I wanted to get some good action, was just using my ricochet rounds to shoot at that guy because I wanted to get Clarence out. Things got a little crazy here, I should have switched to my fusion rifle, it's getting hard for me to realize when to switch my fusion rifle after playing with shotguns for so long, so I'm still kind of learning that. Clarence did pick one up and I saw the ticks of damage off of Clarence, so I knew right where to throw my scatter nade and I blew that guy up to secure the round. Always use those ticks of damage off Clarence, they're really good indicators of where the enemy is. Now, I'm going to come around the corner here and this guy is 1 HP, so I smack him with the pulse rifle which gets me 
island tank brocked, so I feel a little ballsy and I go in, hit this guy with a little bit of a far range hit with the pulse or the fusion rifle there, go in, and I could have taken my fusion rifle out again, but I knew I could hit him with a melee and then like one shot and take him out, so that's what I did. Now coming into this play, my main objective was to get my rift down really quick right on this. Remember, you're gonna blink to mid lane much faster than almost anybody else is going to get there with their warlock floats or their titan floats or their hunter jumps so use that to get to mid lane fast and then hold down i didn't really have anything to stop this res so instead i just decided to let him res and farm myself another kill because why not man you gotta feed that kd right now i was looking what i could do saw this guy peeking and unfortunately they both kind of ran to the side teammate had me held down though and he got me a nice little pick there so i flew in I was looking for this last guy threw a scatternade over here because i thought he was going to go to that side but he went invisible came behind me and he was a little too reliant on that invis and i was able to to smack him with the fusion rifle. Now coming into this next clip, this is a banger of a round. I'm looking down here again, get that rip down, you have perfect amount of time to get the rip down and then peek before anybody's even there. A nice scatter gets me some damage off, and so I go in to peek a little bit. This guy was really close and I was gonna get him with a fusion rifle, but he kinda ran away and had a nice lightning nade. Both of my teammates went down and it was pretty unfortunate. I actually didn't get that one shot right there, but it was actually good because killing him with my melee allowed me to get my devour, which let me kill that guy and full heal again after that, which saved me from getting shot by the second guy. Got the res on my teammate, and again, I just let him get that res so that I could kill the guy right when he was spawned, threw my scatter nade for some extra damage and confusion, went in with the fusion rifle, and was able just to smack him. And use all your kit, and you can do amazing rounds like that. Now, these next three clips are pretty fun, because what happened is, I had a teammate that rage quit because these guys were so annoying, and I so I didn't want to lose, so I just went try hard mode, and I actually win a few rounds on these guys, and it's pretty fun. You can see here, I'm kind of set up, saw this guy peeking to the left, threw a nice scatter nade out there, which does do a good amount of damage, but I had to back up. At this point, it was pretty desperate, and I was like, well, screw this. Let's just try to get some kills. So that's what I did. I was able to see this guy take him out, took this other guy out because he started jumping down and Clarence helped me out a little bit, and then I was looking for the last guy. Now, I saw the damage ticks coming off of Clarence, so I knew this guy wanted to come this way, especially when he killed the other Clarence. I knew he wanted to get to his friend's reses and probably fight me. So I just held down here, got him to 1 HP. I could have waited, but I decided to get aggressive with the fusion rifle, get that last tick of damage, and take them out round one. Now, coming into the next round here, I was pretty jazzed up after that because i was like maybe i could actually just like 1v3 these guys every round to a win and so i was looking around here i saw this first guy he jumps up in a second and i just beamed him i had land tank and i was in a rift so i snapped down to the second guy and take him out looking for the third guy don't know where he is but oh there he is on my radar so i go in there flick to his head and start taking him out and just keep shooting because i have the ammo for it boom there's another round under the belt now, coming to the third round here, I was really jazzed up at this point because, hey, I just took two rounds all by myself. I mean, teammate, uh, he he exists, I guess. Now, I was looking for these guys. I didn't want to aim down sights too long, so I do aim off of my sights and do see them on the radar pings. Now, I get some nice shots here in a second, and that's what's really going to start this round off popping because I kill this guy. That gives me land tank, which makes me a little more you know, secure in the fact that I can take these guys with some more fighting. I was going to blink forward there, but I knew I probably needed to play safe and play back if I wanted a chance, but I threw a nice scatter nade behind this guy's lower league crotch shield and was able to smack him in the face and was waiting for the last guy, snapped to him and took him out. Unfortunately, we lost the match, but those three comeback rounds were pretty hot. Now here we have a real nice fusion rifle clip. I'm able to get a really nice pick there, and I want to just throw my scatter nade out there to kind of block that off. So that's what I do, but this guy flies across real good, and that was a smart play by him. But I didn't want to give up the res for free, so I flew him with the fusion rifle and smacked him, but he actually got it off, which surprised me, but I was able to flick back and take them both out pretty quickly. Now you can see here, this is going to be our last clip for the day, so thank you for watching this far if you did. But I use a lot of parts of my kit right here. I have Clarence ready. I'm able to shoot this guy, send Clarence out, send the scatter nade out, and hit that guy shield real hard. The uh, melee there unfortunately doesn't do anything. I'm able to blink out of the damage range here. I thought this guy wanted to do a close range fight, but he was running away like a little boy, and I was like, what the hell, man? But I was able to map him after all, and we all clapped these enemies together, and we're able to secure that round. Hey guys, thank you for watching this far. I really appreciate it. I figured I'd show you what loot I get right now, because usually I don't do that, and I actually was able to grab a flawless today. You know, thank God for freelance trials. It's actually possible for me to go and get an easy flawless on day one. So uh, I hope it kicks it with that. So I'll show you what loot I got here. But if you guys enjoyed, leave me a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to see more in the future. And I really appreciate it. We're almost at 700 subs already. It's crazy. What do we got here? Aisha's. Let's see. Adept targeting could be good. Uh, I had a storm perpetual. I had a turnabout. Actually, this could be a pretty good roll. Stability? All right, all right. <laughs> well, if you guys enjoyed, then... Please, you know, leave me a like, comment, subscribe, like I said before. I really appreciate all the love lately, and I can't wait to keep growing with you guys.
But that's it for me today. So have a great day, Guardians. Mm -hmm.